QLM was founded in 2017 by our uh, now CTO, Zhao Ai. He was working at the University of Bristol, in John Rarity's group. Uh, he had an idea for the monitoring of greenhouse gases. He took that to the university's quantum technology accelerator, QTech, and they partnered him with a business mentor, Murray Reed, who is now our CEO. Murray has 30 years of experience commercializing photonics in Silicon Valley. Our unique quantum technology, comprising a LiDAR and a single photon avalanche detector, a SPAD, provides an understanding of greenhouse gas emissions at the industrial scale and affordably in the form of cameras which simultaneously visualize and quantify greenhouse gas emissions. We are really very close to commercialization. Uh, we have a minimum viable product uh, out now that we are using for commercial trials, but we are building towards a iteration of our equipment, uh, what we call the Rev-B. The Rev-B will be smaller, lighter and more scalable in manufacturability than our existing camera and that will be really the first commercial release. We'd anticipate that's going to be uh, well into production uh, by the end of the first half of next year. We uh, closed a seed round of funding uh, in May this year involving a number of uh, strategic investors, Green Business Angels, the Green Angel Syndicate, um, a selection of investment banks and oil field services, uh, Champion X, our strategic investor. We have increased our staff numbers by four or five since May. We have invested in new premises, which we're moving into this month. Um, we have entered into a contract to scale our manufacturing capability with a UK-based uh, manufacturer. Um, all of this has come from the initial backing of Innovate UK and then the further backing of the seed round. But it is a combination of academic, technological, government and industrial collaboration, uh, which is taking QLM's technology from the laboratory into the real world. Our immediate future focuses are to demonstrate the camera at real live plants and operational facilities, mainly in the oil and gas industry because they have a burning need to measure methane more effectively. We will be trialling the equipment at their facilities. We're in conversation with them already. We are in planning phases with them already. We have already done some trials with the National Grid and we're also going to be carrying out official controlled release studies at METEC, which is the University of Colorado's controlled release facility. It's like playing at Wembley for control emissions monitoring. There will be a competition running there next year where automated monitoring of methane emissions is the order of the day. So the camera operates completely independently. It will search for emissions when it finds them, it will zoom in, catalogue it, tag it, zoom out, move on to the next one and report it. The SPLICE project is underpinned by the National Quantum Technologies Programme. Um, we have received huge amounts of support, mainly through the QERD project, but also uh, through introductions to other people in the same industry, to uh, collaborative research. Um, we couldn't really have done what we wanted to do, um, and certainly not anywhere near as quickly as we've achieved it, without the very beneficial backing of NQTP.